Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be starting a series called Every Situation. In this series, I'm basically going to explore all the situations possible and all the possibilities you can do while in that situation. And today we're going to be starting off with ground dashing or ground sea dashing, I should say. So just this, this, or this, they're mostly the same. I'll be covering both your side and the enemy side. So first off, dashing to the enemy. Well, the only thing you really want to do is attack. There's like not much you need to do. I mean, that's the whole point of the game, right? Attack and deal damage. So once you dash in, just, you know, attack. There's not much to say about it. Now with all the obvious stuff out of the way, let's get into the actual part of the video. Dashing into enemy's guard. As you probably know, if you dash into the enemy's guard, you bounce off. Now after this bounce, you have this kind of stun. See, I couldn't move until after the stun. Now the stun that you get is different from the stun that the enemy gets. And in fact, the enemy gets lower stun than you. So they get a shorter stun time. So during that stun time, you could be vulnerable, right? You could be vulnerable. They could be attacking you before you realize it. So you have to block and go back into guard pressure. So first off, to avoid the bounce, you can do this called charcoal dash cancelling, which is just stopping in front of the guard. You can do this just by dashing and then guarding. Very easy. But the difficult part is getting it perfectly like in front of the enemy. Like this, so you can attack them without the bounce. Now if I try to attack with that bounce, you see I'm missing a lot of shots and plus I'm getting that stun. Now that's all good because they can counter your like attacks right here and they can also move away before you do anything and even counter attack if they need to. So bouncing off isn't you know the best thing ever. So as I said one of the things you can do is dash cancelling to avoid the guard stuff. You know just stopping right in front of the guard so you can attack do keep in mind, they can counter your attack, but it's very unexpected. So if you stop right before the guard, like here, like I'm basically inside the guard right now, and then go for attack. Now obviously this needs, you know, practicing, training. I'll link videos to how you can do this in the description. Make sure you practice. So with that out of the way, let's actually get into dashing into the block. What if you're in, you know, that stun state, what do you do? Now there are a few ways, and I'm going to show you them right now. You have Jutsu, so I can Jutsu immediately. As soon as I bounce off, I can Jutsu. Next thing is I can do a Charcoal Shuriken. So as same as the Jutsu, you can do it immediately after. The stun doesn't even matter. Now with characters that have instant guard break, this is very helpful. If you accidentally dash into the guard without cancelling, you can do a instant guard break. And then keep attacking. There's one more way I want to show you, but this is not very helpful. But since this series is about every situation and all the possibilities, I'm going to show you it anyways. You can counter immediately. As you can see, um, no stun, counter. Now to me, the best one out of the three is the Jutsu. You can apply pressure while being safe. And for someone like Nagato, especially safe. And those of you who know Switch Tech, you can add in the Switch Jutsu. to put even more pressure on the opponent. However, as you probably know, Nagato and Pain's Jutsu isn't really good for pressuring. Like, that's not really gonna do much. So if you do have those characters, I suggest you just, you know, keep it defensive after you do it. So just like, stay behind it, and then regroup. So Jutsu is very helpful. Especially like Jutsu with Raza. It can give you a lot of advantages because it breaks guard so fast. And plus, it's a sub trap. And for example, last Naruto's Jutsu, a lot of pressure. Next we have Chakra Shuriken. I would only do this one if you have no Chakra or your character has an instant guard break. Like those are the only two conditions I'll do this in. Because like, it's not that helpful. And um, you're not really safe after Shuriken either. But a thing you can do is this. Do keep in mind, they can sometimes counter it if you don't do it in time. And the downside to this is you can't switch through it. Like, you can't, you know. So, obviously, you can't do it on guard either. You kind of have to wait for the stroke to come out and then do it. 
And that comes with practice and timing. So that's basically the charcoal shuriken for you. Uh, moving on to the counter. Now this is basically for times when you have no charcoal to do anything. So I, like, I can't do a charcoal shuriken. So the best thing you can do is a like that. So you can ignore you know, all your stuff. But obviously sometimes you can't even dash. Uh, that's just you know, unlucky I guess. When you do have enough charcoal to dash, probably the best way to get out of it is the counter. Switch counter I should say. Now this way you don't use up any resources except for switching obviously, but you can get out the stun pretty easily, just you know, that and out. And then as you can see nothing was wasted except for switching. But most of the time you're going to have enough to do a charcoal shuriken at least. So try to do that. Now this is it for the video from your perspective. Next we're going to move on to enemy perspective. So what to do when they dash into you. I will not be going over the obvious ones, so if they dash into your actual person, obviously you can only sub core support not much you can do so moving straight on to you know blocking their dash now as I've tested you can't do too much except on like tilting which is to get out of guard stun basically works under you know guard pressure like do keep in mind they can't block this they can't block your tilt because you won't have enough time to you know do it immediately unless you have something really quick for example Rina Sasuke's tilt So tilting is the first option. Now before I move on to the next one, we're going to talk about what to do to prevent that. I should have done this before the tilt, but I'm going to do it now. A few ways you can prevent them from hitting your guard is basically hit them back with your own dash. You see, I'm putting both of us into neutral. He can't do too much. And I will be talking about what to do when the clash happens as well. And that's one of the ways, and obviously I just showed you the other one. You can do a switch counter to punish them, or just simply a counter. I mean, nothing's stopping you from doing that, except it's not that safe. Next is double dashing. So when they dash at you, you can double dash to keep them away. Like that. Now next we have Ninja Move Shuriken. Now this is very helpful. It's basically this. And then you can use this movement to dodge, you know, any attack. Actually, I should say dash, and I? So any dash. And plus, you can even counter after you land on the ground. And if you're just doing it with other jump, it's even easier. So this is a really good way to, you know, dodge the dashes and keep safe at the same time. If you want, you can even switch counter. Now this is not very effective at close range, so mid, mid to long range is probably the best range you want to be in. As you can see, even there, I get caught. So I try to keep it like mid, long range, around here is perfect. And as you can see, I can counter them, you know. And lastly, this is a really good one, but it does require some timing. It is, as Yama calls it, short hop punish. You basically have to jump just before. Like that. They get more stun than they should do because doing it from the air. If you do it perfectly, they shouldn't be able to block it at all. So that was too late. Now look, you see that? So that was like almost perfect one. Like, you know, just jumping just before he hits you. So you're a tiny bit off the ground. Now that was too high. So once you practice this, when you get good at it, it's very, very powerful. That one. Now, if Raza didn't miss, it would have been better. So those are the main ways to, you know, prevent a dash from happening or hitting a block, I should say. And make sure you practice them. Now, maybe onto them actually using your guard. I've already talked about tilting. I'll show you again. So yeah, tilting is the only way you can do it when you're instantly doing it. So I don't get any stun. As soon as they hit my guard, if I tilt, I don't get any stun. Um, some of the other ways are just when they hit your guard, you know, move away because you do get less stun than them. Or you can abuse the fact that you have less stun than them. Walk towards them, you know, attack or you dash, whatever you want to do. So use the fact that they have more stun than you, you know, to do something before they recover. 
even though the time frame is like so little, it's still very significant in a game. Now moving on to probably my favourite part is when both of you dash together. Now what you can do in this situation is this, you see? It's very unexpected, however nobody really uses it. When you're dashing at each other, last second just pull that out. Just like that. It's pretty simple. Just switch counter after you dash. And the timing is not hard at all. Maybe a few minutes of practice, but it's not hard at all. So let me show you without the enemy dashing. So those of you who doesn't know what I'm doing can get a better picture. It's basically that. Dashing, cancelling, switch counter. You know, or I should say switch shuriken because you're already holding the guard. Dash, cancel, switch counter. Like that. Now timing, as I said, is not very hard. Just wait until they're kind of close, and then, you know, do that. And for those of you whose timing isn't like, isn't that good, I'm sure they'll get better. But for now, just do this. You know, it's slightly easier. It's basically counter and then switch. Now next, after you clash, you know, when both of you push each other backwards, what you can do is switch out, and then you know, spark dash at them, or just stop mashing. Dash clash, switch out, stop mashing, or anything. Because if they don't switch out, they will be stunned from the pushback and you will have time to do anything you want. Now if you're wondering what if they know how to do all of these in the video, don't worry, my next video is going to be counters to all of them. And I'm not going to be doing every single counter because that's going to go like forever, infinitely long. Because I can counter the counters and then counter the counter again. So what you should remember is, so what you should remember and do is to not use like the same one for every situation because not every situation is going to be the same you need to adapt like there's going to be minor changes to anything and you just have to you know use some of these tips in the video and then adapt it to your situation on your own because obviously i'm playing against a bot with no human thinking but you're gonna do it you know think for yourself now back on track after you do the clash switch out dash mashing as i said whatever you want now let me show you this in real time So that, as you saw, he was still being pushed back when I was dashing at him. Now they might have a chance, I yeah, I think they will have a chance to block. Even if they block, you're still dashing into a block. And what do you do when you dash into a block? Exactly. Well, you do what you saw earlier in the video. Like, it's just, it's a loop. Now I will show you the mashing version. So not dashing, just mashing. So you saw Naruto caught him off before he was able to, you know, do anything. So that, I don't think they can actually block. Now if you do time it right, right, as I did right there, your character, if they, if your character has a good mash, obviously as well, you can catch them before they even gain, you know, get out of the stun. You can punish them, you know, for dash clashing. And there are a few more ways you can, you know, dash, jump over, or dash, time it perfectly, do a short hop punish, which I'm not going to try and do because that's going to take me ages. Dash, short hop punish if you time it perfectly. Dash, jump over, dash, hollow step away, you know, those kind of stuff. Dash, jump over, regain. You know, those are the simple stuff that you should already know how to do. And yeah, that is dashing in the Every Situation series. Next video, as I said, it will be counters to these you know, tips. Once again, you can't fully, like, 100% rely on these. You can maybe do it 65%, you know, try to use these. But the rest of the 35%, you have to use your own brain. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.